All right, don't short circuit on me. We're about to talk about electrical panel schedules in the Revit uh, environment using the MEP productivity pack. Over here in Revit, I'm going to give you a really quick cross section of what we do with the electrical panel board schedules and how we work with a little bit of our technology here. So we have the basic branch panel boards, of course, and we've modified them just ever so slightly. We have the KVA properties instead of the traditional VA that's on the Revit default template. Uh, though we have included quite a few other panel board schedules in the mix. Notice down here how we've got the actual main switchboard, a distribution section, and a load summary. Normally, Revit can't do a panel board schedule quite like this. In fact, there's only technically two components out there. There's the main switchboard and there's the distribution section, and yet we're able to get the main switchboard uh, actual summary based on the main distribution section right there. Uh, just telling me what the connected load is from that distribution section. We're able to get the distribution section's information and we're able to get a full load summary of that main switchboard right here, uh, down here at the bottom, giving me all of the individual loads coming from the rest of the building. And yes, these are actually the load classifications that we include that are coming off of all the other panel boards and transformers that are tied in to that main switchboard through the distribution section. In addition to that, way up at the top here on this particular sheet, I have a transformer calculation load estimate. So I'm telling you in this case what our total demand load is going to be, size for 65% of demand load, and then also giving the exact same estimates coming from what was going on down below in that main switchboard section as well. Now this information is only as good as the connected components talking to it and the demand loads and load classifications that are actually associated with those objects. So you'll have to go take a look at a little bit of our connection information and, and how we have our analytical views set up inside of the, the Revit environment in one of our other videos. So you can do some of that design validation, making sure that everything is actually connected because if you're missing something, obviously it's not tallying into the load and you're not going to get proper information right here. The goal is that you can actually get real information. In fact, just so you know, this entire system here has been in use in production in a number of our firms since 2011 with no back-end backup coming from like Excel panel board schedules or something. So we know that it works and hopefully you'll be able to find out if you want to give us a call and see more about this, you'll be able to trust this as well in your design practice if you're struggling using Revit's actual calculations on these panel boards. All right, with that, thank you for your time. And please, if you haven't seen already how we do our design validation views, go check that video out as well as a couple of other videos that we've got available here so that you can see exactly how the MEP can work for you. Thank you for watching this video and have a fantastic day.